What's happening, people, and welcome to our podcast where we step outside the box and talk about atypical topics from growing minds. I'm Benjamin. And I'm Rainy. And we are your host. Welcome to our show. Now let's shoot the shit. Yo, welcome everybody to our podcast. Welcome. Tonight. Welcome. We have some interesting shit. Adjust mic, adjust mic. Yeah, so like first off, right, first and foremost. Rainy must hit her dab. Yes, Rainy must hit her dab. First off. I'm going to go ahead and crank that volume. Crank up the volume. Here we go. No, I don't do pills. I don't do pills. Damn, where's my cup, bro? I guess I'm drinking out the bottle. All right. So tonight, we we keep up a little bit of news. It's wine. It's not liquor. He's yeah, drinking out of wine. a wine. It, it, it is wine. Yeah. No, I'm not. No. No. Woo party. No. I it's wine. Said beer too, though. Yeah. No. It's wine. <laughs> but uh, I have a fancy cup. I like to drink out of. But uh, it's not. It's like a Dollar Tree. It's cup. a Dollar Tree chill. You know what though? It is an official wine glass with Eek. without a stem. <laughs> all right continue the conversation all right so please. anyway uh we read some news and uh some shit bunch of shit as usual news is always full of shit but like this time it was uh the abortion shit going on and, and the riots happening and, and before we even get into abortion or anything i mean if the people stand up and riot against the government that is supposed to be Enough. Wait, we're not talking about that tonight. That's all I'm saying. That's all we're not talking about abortion and shit tonight. Well, what are you talking about, man? I feel like it's so relevant. I couldn't help but mention it. At least we'll we'll talk about it another day for sure. But like, it pissed me off because they use they use the word anarchy to describe <coughs> the way that the the, the right. Do, but but anarchy they they used it as a Negative. sense of violence and, and really. There was no anarchy, quote unquote, until the cops fired at them. You know what I mean? Like, the cops started that shit. Cops are the anarchists, if anything. You want to call somebody something crazy. <laughs> Disarm the police. Anyway, so today, what do we really want to discuss? We want to, we, oh, okay, so we want to discuss just women's rights in general, right? Just women in general. Women in general, like okay. Women are fantastic. So here's a here's a weird one. Tampons. Tam. Why do they cost so much money? Why do pads cost so much money, bro? No, first of all, there's a tampon shortage. Is there for real? So let's think about the shortages that have happened so far. You guys use formula and tampons. Those are the shortages. Baby wipes. Oh, yeah. Just the necessities. Yeah. Right. Like right. somehow not related to really men at all except for the fatherly part. But, um. But no, I feel you. Yeah. It's an attack on women right now for yeah. sure. Yeah. There is. Yeah. It's an attack it on women. They're trying to 100%. belittle y'all, trying to put y'all back down. And no one's connecting these dots. Yep. There's a formula shortage. What? A tampon shortage. What? Well, yeah. You know? Have more babies. Baby yeah. wipe Shut shortage. Up. What? <laughs> like. I'm a lady. There's definitely an attack on women, and I don't care how controversial that sounds. It's 100% true. It is an attack true. on women's rights. So yes. what Ben was talking about was that we're talking about the, the taxes on tampons, or tampons and pads and anything in general, really. Not just taxes, prices. They should be free. Absolutely. Unless you want me to free bleed all over the freaking road. I mean, not literally. It's not dripping <sighs> blood, but... Can you imagine if you yeah. told someone you free bleed? It'd be inappropriate. Blood? Yeah, it'd be, it'd be uh, what's that word? There's there's probably a law for it. There, <laughs> Indecent exposure. There we yeah, go. Yeah, something stupid. <laughs> so people will cringe at anyone for doing that, which is actually really good for your body. Or sure they're just going to charge you a whole bunch of money to take care of it. I mean, because it's they think it's not a necessity. You think most. mermaids wear pads? <laughs> nah, dog. Mermaids, mermaids let that shit legs. free breathe. What the shit? Oh, for real? They definitely have vaginas, though. How the hell is that supposed to work? A mermaid with a vagina? How else do they breed? They don't. They don't breed? No. Mermaids I are one of a kind. I don't know how fish, <laughs> fish, fish reproduction works. It's definitely with penis and vagina. Except that's, for that's, that that's one time that Jason bro. said my, my sucker fish were stuck together. So I think I have a girl. And that was funny. That was pretty funny. <laughs> but uh, it's definitely an attack on women. It really is. And they're trying to come after limiting birth control next. And I just, I think we talked about that in the last one, but... Hey, that's just bizarre. I think it's insane, honestly. Like, this ain't the 1700s. 
This ain't even the 1960s. No, it feels like 1700s, though, right? Yeah. I feel like medieval time, the Dark Ages. That's what this is. Like the this next is thing the you know dark ages, is bro. there's going to be an error getting women to have bank accounts. Mm-hmm. You know, and it's mm-hmm. just it's gonna, you need a you need a co-signed man. That's how the Handmaid's Tale started. <laughs> I mean, I know oh, it's a yo, work the of Handmaid's fiction, Tale. That's still. That's not far off. No, exactly. You know what I mean? That's like the that's problem. it's likely. You know what's funny? You know what's <laughs> funny is you can't claim a child uh, uh an unborn like if you're pregnant, you can't claim that on your taxes because the government doesn't see them as a as You're hundred percent right as a human. You have to have them for six months out of the year to claim that motherfucker on your taxes. That's the truth. That's actually not true anymore. Six months oh they change that? Yeah, any time. But still it's <sighs> I mean, it might be. Okay, I have I'm no pretty idea. sure that's true, yeah. Last time I filed taxes, which was many, many years ago. Yeah, but Connor was born yeah. on August 10, and I was able to file him for taxes, and that's only five months. Okay. That's, that's, okay. Well, I don't know. Law's bullshit all around. I think it's They're four months. Through. Four and a half. Something like that. Either way. You know, stop voting, motherfuckers. Stop obeying their bullshit. Stop doing what they say. Stop So then the other line. thing we are going to talk about... Is uh, guns. Guns, bro. Guns. This one, this one is gonna heat some people up, especially people like, like your brother and myself. Yeah, people that love guns. Yeah. Yeah. No, I get no, it. No, people that know you and know that you love guns. Yeah. No, I'm a gun supporter. Like I always have been. Anyway, like I got. So let's multiple tell the people what you myself, told me earlier you know, today. So go ahead, spit it for me. Why? Because you don't again, remember it. Word for word. Yeah. You said... I know I had a valid point. You said, I love guns. I love guns. But, uh... But, uh... <laughs> so, <laughs> Stop. You told me to explain it for you, and you're trying to make me forget. Um, you said, like, you love guns, but you think that they should be banned forever from everyone. Yes, thank but you. But you're not going to give up your guns until they're taken from the police. Yes, the police need to be disarmed for me to feel safe. I cannot and get I rid of my guns. I 100% agree. Yes. I do not need to get pulled over for going a little too fast with a by a gun. man with a gun. Yeah, and he's like I've half had, the time I've a had drum. a gun pulled on my friend while I was sitting in the car. Because he was doing a little drifting. Was he armed? No, he exactly. was the most innocent boy in the whole wide yeah. world, and we had a gun pulled exactly. on us. Exactly. You know what it is, though? Officer safety. You know why? Because your safety is second best. I know, and see, the thing is, is when a gun is pulled on you, it's immediately traumatic. No, it's flight or fight. Yeah. And, and for me, I'm fighting. So like, me, I'm gun, sitting I'm in the back you. of the car, and this, and my poor friend, he's like, why, why, why do you have your gun? Like... What's yeah, going what on? the fuck, dude? Like, and he said, well, there's a bunch of, uh, this is where illegals go. So we just thought, you thought illegals were drifting in the middle of the desert? Not you only that, liar. illegals don't have guns 90% of the time. Yeah, in you know a Mustang. I mean? Yeah, come on. Yeah. yeah like, Some no, illegals from Mexico were drifting were like, with a gun on them. Yeah. Come on, you fucking retard. Yeah, dude, fucking, that's the cops for you. It was you. really dumb. That's their training. Dipshits. It wasn't even Border Patrol. It was the fuck cops. Fuck the blue. And we were in the middle of, like, we were... Out in Tucson, near Marana, or maybe, yeah, near, no, it was by, okay, so it was a little bit more where, yes, uh, people do cross the border from, like, three hours from there, because it was by the Tucson Mountains on the west side, but still, it was ridiculous. Oh, I get you, I know where that's at, okay. They couldn't even connect the dots well enough to know that we're obviously, like... Just a couple teenagers fucking around. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, clearly, legit. dude. And that day was just... I, oh, and you know what the other thing was? I had a really bad year. Oh, wait. I'm going to preface that. No, when this happened, it was like the only day of my life that I was sober. That cop that got you guys, was he in uniform? Yeah, he was in a cop car. Oh, he was in a police car? Yeah. Oh, this, was one, this wasn't an off-duty event? No. You told me about it. No, event. that was another one. Okay, was when that the with the same, same guy? Kid was okay, the same dri- guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was okay. drifting with one of our Sounded other familiar. friends. But this was like right off the highway. Oh. <laughs> in a dirt area, and this cop pulls up and he starts yelling at him. And no, everything. this unmarked civilian claiming to be a cop. No, um, it was a cop car. Oh wow, you said he was off duty. He was in a He's, cop car. Yeah, he said, "I'm on my way home." In and your cop car? Yeah. Oh hell. Lots no. of people take their cop cars home. You know that? We pay for that. We stupid. Yeah. 